Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have really interesting exponential equation x to the power squared of x equal to 3. And one student wrote this type of comment under my post about this question and they say that a lot of students failed their exam about this type of questions when we have square root in our in our power, so they say that this is very like confusing question. So right now let's try to figure out, let's try to look at this solution, let's try to solve this really interesting question. You can also pause the video and write your solution down into the comment section and then we will check our answers. Okay, first of well, I'm going to show you a really great trick how can we solve this question. Just look at it. So we have right here x and let's change x by this expression. Let's change it x by square root of x to the second power. Okay, so we can easily do this. This is absolutely the same expression because when we uh, when we raise to the second power, when we raise our square root, we can easily cancel this. So this is absolutely, absolutely correct, correct expression. So right now, instead of this x, let's put, let's plug in this square root of x to the second power. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have right here square root of x. Okay, we have right here this line. So we have square root of x to the second power. We're going to raise this to the power, this square root of x, square root of x equal to equal to 3. Right now we need to remember a really great, really easy like school algebra property. Just look at it. So we have when we have a to the power b, when we raise this to the power c, as a result we'll have a to the power b times b times c. So we're talking about multiplying 2 times square root of x. Absolutely the same case and as in our like uh, school identity, school formula. So as a result we will have square root of x to the power 2 square root of x. 2 square root of x equal to equal to 3. Really great. So I hope you understand this tricky move. Right now we are going to find, we're going to write our substitution. We have square root of x, we have square root of x, so we are talking about substitution. Let's try to write our substitution. So let our square root of x, for example, let's write our y, doesn't matter, ty, this is up to you, we have right here y, doesn't matter. As a result, we will have like y to the power 2y, 2y equal to equal to 3. Right here we need to find parentheses, but in our case it doesn't matter, we, have, we don't need to do this. We have y and 2y, but in, uh, in general we need to put parentheses, but I hope you understand it. Uh, right now, let's apply natural log on both sides. It looks like a great case for Lambert W function, but we'll see, we'll see, okay? So natural log of y to the power 2y, and we have right here natural log of, natural log of 3. Okay, and according to the main log property, this 2y will come down, will come down right here. So we will have like 2y, okay, we have right here 2y times nature log y equal to nature log 3. Right now, let's try to group our constants on the left side, or for example, constant on the right side and our variables on the left side. For this, let's divide both sides by 2. Okay, when we divide both sides by 2, we will have the next thing. We will have y times nature log y equal to natural log 3 dividing by 2. Right now, variables on the left side and our constant on the right side. So it's really great. Right now, we need to apply, we need to remember, we need to learn about Lambert W function. I know that a lot, there are a lot of videos on my channel about this Lambert W function, but in our case, this is one and only one way that we solve this question, okay? So how this function looks like? When we have, for example, expression like a times e to the power a, so something like that, where we need to have e and we need to have the same expression right here as a power of e and expression behind this e. And when we apply Lambert W function, to this, we have only our only our a. Right now, let's try to create something like that on the on the left side. How can you do this? Of course, instead of y, let's write uh, the next thing. Let's write e to the power. So let's let's separate these parts. And instead of y, we're gonna write e to the power natural log y. Okay, this is absolutely the same, absolutely the same thing. So as a result, we have e to the power natural log y times natural log y equal to natural log three over over 2. Really great. And if you look closely to our definition of Lambert W function, so this special case about Lambert W function, we need to have e on the second position, okay? We have it here on the first one, but let's let's change position, okay? So for better understanding, let's do this. So nature log y times e to the power nature log y equal to nature log 3 over 2. And right now let's look closely on the left side. For example, let's keep in mind that this is our a, this is our also a because we have like the same thing and as a result we have a times e to the power to the power a. The, que the case that we really need right now, so we are going to apply Lambert W function. So one and only way to solve this is to apply Lambert W function. So let's do this. On the left side let's apply it. We have right here Lambert W function of this expression. So nature log y times e to the power nature log y and don't forget about right side. So we have Lambert W function of nature log 3. Don't be scared about this right side. This is a constant and 
constant lambda w function of a constant this is a constant so don't be scared about about right side on the left side lambda w function of this type of expression x is equal to a in our case a equal to natural log y so we have right here natural log y equal to lambda w function of natural log 3 over over 2 and it looks like this is our answer but if on the first side this is our answer but we don't find our uh, our y we need to find our y and the second case we need to find our x because we had a substitution so only two steps more right here so let's let's solve it first of all let's apply base of e on both sides when we apply base of e on the on the left side we will have e to the power nature log y equal to e to the power lambda w function of nature log 3 over over 2 okay and this e to the power nature log y we had right here equal to y so as a result on the left side we have only y which is equal to e to the power lambda w function of nature log 3 over 2 don't be scared about this lambda w function of this constant this is a constant and y to this constant also is um, like constant this is some some value really great but we need to go back to our substitution so square root of x equal to y let's rewrite this substitution right here so square root of x equal to equal to y so we are talking about y square i guess yeah if we're talking about x we need to square both sides when we square left side we have x when we square right side we have y square so x equal to y square so one and only um, step that we need to do right here we need to square this this expression so y square this is our answer this is our x we have y so we need to square our our expression on the right side so from here x which is equal to y square, which is equal to e to the power lambda w function of nature log 3 over 2. Really great, and we need to square it. But how can we square it? This this is our final answer. Yeah, this is our final answer, but we can simplify this a little bit. If you're talking about e to the power x raised to the power y, we need to multiply. We have a to the power x x times y okay so we need to multiply our power we have a, like a complicated power on the first side here yeah, we have like a long and complicated power but we need to multiply it by 2 so as a result we have x equal to x equal to e to the power 2 lambda w function of natural log 3 natural log 3 over over 2 and this is our our final answer to this to this question and i find the approximately value for you because a lot of students don't like this um, don't like this answer because we have a complicated answer a lot of students prefer when when the answer is x equal to 2 3 10 20 yeah but we have a complete uh, on the first side for mathematicians this is a great answer but a lot of students don't like this uh, type of answers because they don't know about approximately answer and maybe uh, students uh, watch my watch what this video so x approximately equal so this is absolutely for them we have 2.1 to five okay yeah, this is our uh, answer this is our approximately value to this lambda w function for, for a lot of students this is a really great thing to watch approximately answer yeah but for the motive for the mathematicians this is absolutely okay answer we we like this yeah this is really great but approximately answer looks like looks like that right now we can easily see a graph to this question so as you can see we have we have real root which is which is also really great so we, we have this point of intersection so this is really great that we solve this that we solve this question this is a great question to practice lambda w function to practice like a school uh, school power rules right here we have substitution so this is not a basic question according to lambda w function this is a really great question for example right here first trick second power rule according to uh, second uh, algebra power rule the next thing natural log we have lambda w function we have uh, right here we have um, we have we need to find our y from natural log yes yeah, so as you can see a lot of really interesting tricks a lot of really interesting steps so this question is is really great so we hope a lot of students who like don't like this type of question who uh, don't know how can we solve this type of question how can we solve this question when we have square root in our power when we have different base and different powers uh, I, I think that a lot of students understand this solution but you can also write your solution write your notes about it you can also write your questions down into the comment section let's discuss about it this is really great when people all over the world discuss about these questions and people all over the world exchange information because a lot of countries a lot of solutions a lot of discussions so when people all over the world are in like in one community this is also really great to live and really great to exchange information and really great to learn to learn something new so i want to see your your notes your notes your your comments your assumption down into the comment section your 
your your response about this question and let's discuss about it thank you everyone for your time see you in the next videos also thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone we have like more than 70 thousand to we 70 thousand subscribers so i really appreciate it for i really appreciate for everyone to uh, for those who subscribe my channel who support it i really appreciate it and thank you everyone for your response thank you everyone for your likes for your dislike yeah and see you in the next videos have a great day also write a question down into the comment section write your notes about it and see you in the next videos have a great day and take care